Clemson, they touch Howard's rock only if they're ready to go, because if they're not, as Frank Howard himself said, keep your stinking hands off my rock. Death Valley in Clemson, South Carolina, home to the Tigers. Today, a couple of teams getting set to square off in an ACC battle. As we'll see, the winners of three straight, the Virginia Cavaliers, taking on the 23rd-ranked team in the land, the Clemson Tigers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing... And we'll kick off to get us underway. And he passes on the touchback. Here he comes. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. So Virginia's offense takes the field to start this game off. And here's the man they want to get the ball to in this passing game. This is the type of receiver, David, when he's covered, he's still open. <laughs> I'm still, he's still putting that hand up in the air. Coach, I'm still open. And more importantly, his quarterback knows that. They're going to move him all over the field. They're going to feature him on offense. They're going to make sure he gets a lot of touches, whether he's open or whether he's open, because he's always open. Got room at the 35. That one could really put this drive into high gear as they have a first down at the 37. He's looking to throw it. And he's just run out of bounds, maybe living to fight another day there. It'll be a loss on the play. You can barely hear yourself thinking here as they're trying to get this defense off to a good start. Not much he could do there. Does pick up two to the 34. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. They're setting up the screen. Shows him the stiff arm. Really nice job by the defense there. You're trying to force the quarterback to throw the football in front of you and allow your guys to square up and make a tackle out in space. you got to force the ball carrier to do something special after the catch. Not able to do it there, so really nice tactic by the defense. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. So the Clemson Tigers offense will try to get something going with their first possession. Offense getting set for first down. Takes the handoff. It's Mafa. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the stickers. Running back searching for a hole. Jukes his way for more. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. From the 44-yard line, the offense snaps it on first down. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Offense gets set for second down. Right back to the well. Hard running there. At the 45 on his way. There he goes to the right. Touchdown, Tiger. And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. You're not going to keep the lid on this guy forever. Sooner or later, he's going to get loose. He is. He's a bad mother. Shut your mouth. I mean, this dude can make plays. That's why you keep feeding it to him, because at some point, he's going to break it loose and make a huge play. point makes it seven nothing quick work on that scoring drive just four plays and they finished it off on the ground with a 58 yarder for six bringing it back nice job by the kickoff team everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16 virginia sending its offense back onto the field 
They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. Russell to the ground after picking up the first down. Trying to find his man on first down. Fires to the wide out. Complete to the left. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Got it on the outside. It's green. And he unleashed the RPMs on that pass. Man, this sophomore has an arm. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. They're trying, and he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. The offense somehow fell on it, and they'll retain possession. Doesn't it always seem like that ball is on the ground for, like, 30 seconds? You got 17 guys running at it in slow motion. Like, I got to get the football offense. Very lucky to get that football back. Really need to pick up some yardage this time on second and long. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Safe completion on the screen. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. And on fourth down, they'll try to salvage the drive with a field goal. That is no good. And they couldn't cut into the lead. It's still a seven-point game. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. Jesse, a very productive drive, and wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. Looking down the middle. Got him, and nobody's close. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Off play action on first down. They're bringing heat. And the defense gets to the quarterback. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play. That's the last thing you want as an offense, a negative play, a sack on first down. They'll give it to the back. Just ran over it. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. Coming after it. And the quarterback is snowed under. Pretty nice as a defense, right? When you can go nickel, put five DBs on the field and not have to blitz anyone, trusting your front four to get the job done on third down, and they do it right there, getting the sack. Clemson will send the punt team out. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. He's got great speed. Looking for running room, he'll get it to the 43-yard line before he stops. 
Virginia has it back. The Cavalier offense headed to the field. And he can't escape, and down he goes. That is an awesome play up front right there, crashing that play in the backfield. And it's funny, you know, you think back to Clemson. Remember when Trevor Lawrence won a national title his true freshman year? It wasn't necessarily about Trevor Lawrence. They won that title because of their defensive dominance, especially on the D-line. That may have been the best D-line we've ever seen in college football. And I tell you, sometimes this dude looks like he could start on that D-line. He's that talented. Leaves it with the back. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. Offense breaks the huddle on third down. How about these two running games so far? Dominance on the ground as we look at the first quarter stats. the opposite directions now as we crank it up in the second some third down conversions tougher than others this one a long one on third down from the 43 getting some heat and the pressure gets to him down goes the quarterback and that's now their third sack of the game this is one of the best units in the entire country getting after the quarterback they've done such a great job recruiting athletes up front and in their front seven they can blitz they can rush you with four with three but they've got dudes that can beat you one-on-one -on -one, and you're seeing that in this game and the cavaliers will send out the punt unit three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball Clemson ready to dial up some ball plays. They've got it on offense. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. And they'll spot it at the 38, and that will be plenty for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll give it to him again. He's there to make the stop. You gotta have that defense you know you can go to in running situations. Your base defense where you say, okay, this is where I'm gonna start, and I'm gonna stop the run, stuff it up front. My guys play big up front. What if I need to add some blitzes to it later on down the road? I can. A great job of the base defense making a play. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. He'll pull it down. They make the stop, but what a job on the scramble to get loose and pick up that first down. Give to the back. And he is just engulfed at the line by this giant defensive tackle. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. To the air. It's Klubnik. It's complete to the left. And the big fella couldn't elude the cornerback who makes a sure tackle. They'll try to run for it. He gets the job done on third down. They move the chains. It's at the 37. And the Tigers have it for the first and ten. The hand to the running back. Brought down at the 26-yard line after a pickup of 10 yards on the play, and it'll be a first down. Grabbed in the backfield, it's Williams. He's brought down quickly, minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. Play number 10 on this series. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. They've been very good at moving the chains on third down. Two for two on this drive. This time they need six. Pocket starts to collapse. The ball pops out. Defense falls on the ball. Going to be a turnover. Man, it's so hard to keep a rabbit in the cage. That quarterback, right? He's, he's going to scramble around. He's going to make plays. And when he gets outside the pocket, you're just trying to get a hand on him. How about getting a hand on him, 
forcing the fumble and recovering it. Great job by the defense continuing to chase that QB. Virginia sending its offense back onto the field. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. From the gun, the ground game. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Listen to this crowd just shaking the girders of this place trying to help their defense. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. The Cavaliers decide to punt it away. He only needs a sliver of daylight. He was working his way on the return toward midfield. They'll stop him at the 46. First down here for the offense. Trying to start the drive with a pass. More than enough time in the pocket, and he fires left. And they couldn't make the connection on the long shot. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. They've got the screen set up. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Pressure coming. He'll try to do it himself. How about that nice run from this junior quarterback? Now they'll line it up from the 44 on first and 10. Looking for a gap. It's Maffa. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. Finds his back in the middle. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. It's the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tack a little something extra on their lead before the break. Dropping back, it's Klubnik. Feeling some heat. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. The offense calls a timeout to stop the clock. So Clemson is lining up to put this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. And a precision punt there will pin them deep inside their own 10-yard line. He'll come out throwing on first down. Caught over the middle, it's green. Well, the defense playing zone coverage there, they're taking away all of the QB's primary options down the field, so he has to check it down to the drag running underneath. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. Looking to throw for it. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. He gets it away from his own end zone. Not going to take a chance to grab that one as it bounces out of bounds. First down for this offense. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. And they got him. He'll get him down for the sack. Man, how about this? It's a strong safety who spins down on the box all the time and usually plays run. You could tell. Saw pass, diagnosed it, and went and got the quarterback on the ground. This offensive line has just been unable to keep them away from the quarterback. Now it's second and long. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. He is not afraid to use that stiff arm as a weapon as he bangs his way to the 28. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Looking downfield, it's Klubnik. Trying to get to him. He's going to run it. He is 
brought down the man. What a job to find some running room and move the chains. Clemson ready to go back to work with another first down. They'll immediately call timeout. Now from the 40, it's first and 10. He's going to pass. Throws to the wideout. It's complete. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. He wants to throw. Wide open downfield. Touchdown, Clemson. Reeled it in and just made the house call. The big tight end, always able to make the defense pay. And tight ends have evolved so much in football. I mean, these guys are like wide receivers now, and you see why. I got the athletic ability, the big bodies, throw to them to make big plays for them. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. You get that touchdown right before the half, build the momentum, and the last thing you need to do is mess it up by allowing a big kickoff return. From inside the 10, here he comes. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. It's first down, but the offense is just going to take a knee and go to the locker room. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, Yeoman's work so far in Death Valley, and welcome in to the halftime report. And we'd be remiss if we didn't start this halftime report by acknowledging the sparkling play of this tight end. The guy's like an aircraft carrier out there as a blocker. And then when he releases and shows off that speed and route running, he's almost unguardable. Gotta believe he won't be able to go anywhere in this second half without someone attached to his hip. Time to see how things play out the rest of the way as we send it back to our guys in Death Valley. And the Cavaliers will kick it off to start the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. They open this third quarter on top, and they built the lead on the strength of that running game. And they made a He's off to the races. And he's brought down after a huge completion. How nice is it as a quarterback when you don't have to throw post routes to get great stats? No, I can just throw it quickly to one of the fastest players in the entire nation and let him burn this defense. Clemson jumps to the line. the play fake on first down to throw zings it complete to the right they stop him just a week or two short of the first and man what they can do on second down here wants to throw it's Klubnik he makes the connection a quick tackle made but he's got plenty for the first down with backs here they'll try the right side they bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He'll pull it on the read. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. From the gun, wants to pass. And 
and the defense is there to stop him short of the first down. Fourth down and one, and they'll go for it. They'll try it on the ground. And to the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Tigers! They are seizing control and taking away hope as they push out the lead in this Week 8 showdown. Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Week in and week out, guys. You never know what's going to happen in college football. Check this out. Mississippi State is ahead early in Stark Vegas, but that's not exactly Dak Prescott out there. This game is a long way from being over. They're up by eight over Texas A&M. We'll circle back if anything big happens in this college football matchup. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. To the air, it's Calandria. Swings it out to his running back. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. And you've already sent your punter out four times. At least he knows he's going to get his varsity letter. And his leg might get a bigger workout if they don't convert. And he's got enough for the first down. It'll be at the 35. The Cavaliers come to the line with a new set of downs. To the air on first down. Got his man on the right. Nice quick throw there. It's so important for quarterbacks to be able to find a rhythm and to be comfortable and confident. You want to just get the ball out quickly, make it an accurate and easy throw. And you can tell that these two guys, they rep that play in practice all the time, and it's now showing up here on the game. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. And the Cavaliers want to pick up the tempo. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there. And he stopped from getting a first down. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. And this defense is smelling blood right now. Like, they know they got him right where they want him. Got him at third down and long. They got to lead by three possessions. Everything is going their way. This offense is in trouble. The Cavaliers will try to pin them back with the punt. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. Clemson ready to dial up some ball plays. They've got it on offense. Caught behind the line. It's Maffa. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. A little bit more to go after that last completion. They'll try to pick it up on second down. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Back to pass. It's Klubnik. They're trying to get to it. And they got him for the sack. As a defensive end, trust me, I was a defensive end, I can tell you. You start getting a little lathered up. Now you got your second sack. It's only the third quarter. Your eyeballs are getting big. This is going to be one of those days. I'm going to get me three. I'm going to get me four. Shoot, I might even get me five. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. Get it out on the screen. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Fires to the right. 
he find a hole in that secondary? And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets them 30-plus. Well, they come up with a huge play. They're going to be down in the red zone now, and I think, David, the mentality changes a little bit for a defense, right, playing at this position of the field? Yeah, the field shrinks. Now it becomes a little bit easier to play, more man coverage you know, down in that red area, but giving up the big pass play, it's always it's a backbreak. You, you want to make them earn it down the field, not give up these big plays, but the QB saw it right away, and really good job of executing and making the big play. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. On third and long, try to convert through the air. They're bringing heat. And that's a live ball behind the line. Oh, it looks as if the defense got it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. Those are hard for offensive linemen when they get beat and you're going, no, look out for your blind side, watch out. But the great job rushing the quarterback, getting him on the ground and getting the football out, a little extra bonus. Nice job by the defense getting nasty. Virginia has it back, the Cavalier offense headed to the field. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. And the Cavaliers get enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Dropping back, it's Calandria. Finds his tight end. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. Line getting set on second down. The inside handoff. Not much he could do there. Does pick up two to the 34. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Perhaps feeling that coverage coming signals for the fair catch and makes it at the 25. We've come to the end of the quarter, and Clemson has the lead. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. As we start the fourth quarter, it'll take a pretty sizable comeback to win this one. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. Give to the single back. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. The play-action fake. He hurls one deep down the left side. And it's incomplete after taking a shot on second down. They're staring at third. To the ground to try to pick up the first. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. Here comes Clemson with another first down. They're going to ride this running back. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. When was the running game on first down now back at it? On the run, it's Mafa. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They'll come to the line at the 42, facing a third and long. To the ground with the back. Lowers that shoulder and delivers the blow. Off he goes. Touchdown, Tigers. And the route is on. They extend this lead, and it looks as if they are going to make it two wins in a row. Huge play. It's so nice to have guys that can create these explosive plays like this. You hand it to him, he can do the rest. Look at the speed. Look at the elusiveness. Get into the end zone. Nice run. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point makes it 28 to nothing. So that was 
a six-play, 75-yard drive. And they finished it off on the ground with a 58-yarder for six. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Virginia sending its offense back onto the field. Looking to throw, it's Calandria. A little release to the back. And the defense coming with bad intentions. They knock him down for a loss. What can they pull out of the playbook here on second and long from the 17? Going to try to pop one on the screen. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. And the ball is loose and live in the backfield. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. You know, as quarterbacks, you've got to be good in the pocket. Even when things are collapsing, you've got guys swiping at it. You've got to have two hands on the football. Didn't do a really good job of ball security there, and that led to the fumble. Clemson ready to dial up some ball plays. They've got it on offense. They had this thing in a hammer lock at halftime, and now they are really ratcheting up the pressure, David. And I tell you what, this offense doesn't have to change a thing, Paul. They've done what they want in the first half and starting off the second half in the same fashion. And I like how they're letting different guys get involved, too. They've got so many different playmakers all over the field. They drag him down, but not before he picks up a Clemson first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Gets it out quickly. They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Going for six. Touchdown, Clemson. And the beatdown has ensued. They can now exit just a little bit with that lead, and they are close to a victory here in the eighth week of the season. Points, points, and more points. This offense has had their way. They just keep their foot on the gas, keep putting up points, keep putting up touchdowns. And you know what? This is one of those stats days. You look back and you're like, that guy had 12 touchdowns in a year. Well, four or five of them might have been in this game. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Mississippi State is down, but not out of it. Not with those cowbells ringing inside Davis Wade Stadium. One of the best home field advantages in all of college football. It's a tight one right now. They're trailing by only five to Texas A&M. Pulls it in. It's Pace. Your boy KC has you covered here in studio, guys, in case anything changes in this one. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. They get him a rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. How about this defense? No mercy. Like, listen, I know we're up big, but they are still hunting, still flying around, still chasing, still making life really miserable for this offense. Now on third and 10, if they can move the chains here, maybe they can get this drive started. Back to throw, it's Calandria. Coming after it. Trying to escape and get it himself. Got room to work. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. It's just so hard to stop. There is no rhyme. There is no reason. He just scrambles around, makes people miss, and the next thing you know, you look up and he's 20, 30 yards down the field and there's nothing you can do about it. Just not quite able to make the connection. It's incomplete. After the misfire now on second down. He's looking to throw, getting some heat. Unloads to the wideout. Catch in the middle, it's Fields. You know this sophomore has a big arm, and there were some revolutions on that one. Wants to throw on first down. Pocket starts to collapse. And he was winding his way all over the backfield, staying alive, staying alive, and finally he goes down. Another sack on the day. This offense has to do something different. Maybe bring in more bodies, 
run max protection, keep more guys in the block, only send a couple guys out to run pass patterns. You got to do something different. But bottom line, you got to protect that QB. The first down sack pushes the ball back for this long second down. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And they took a shot on that one but couldn't make the connection. It's incomplete. The Cavaliers send out the punt unit. The ball hits at the five, and it'll go into the end zone for a touchback. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. They'll go to the counter play. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. Wide out in motion. Off the bootleg, wants to toss it. Pressure coming. It's caught downfield. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Smart move to keep it on the ground. Small game, I know. But again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him honor the run game. you got to do a lot of this. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. They'll go right back to him. Tackle is made after the first down. This Clemson offense moving quickly down the field. And that is a first down. On the ground, it's Maffa. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. After the run, 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 now to throw. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Now facing a third and long from the 50-yard line. They go to the ground. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Clemson will send the punt team out. Punt goes out of bounds and a really nice job as they stick them deep in their own end. They'll mark it around the 10. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Got it in the middle. It's green. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there and still a little ground cover to pick up the first. Brings up second down. Feeling some heat. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. The defense puts the exclamation point on the day. They have had a wonderful day, man. Doing everything great. Just You could tell they were dialed into what was going on. And now just throw another sack in the equation. Hitting the quarterback, being disruptive. They've been all over the field. This is the type of play that can give the offense momentum. Third and short from inside the 20. Trying to get to him. And this defense is bringing the heat another sack. And man, is that a just indictment of the day. Your quarterback getting drilled late in the football game. This offense is sputtered. They haven't found any kind of good rhythm. They haven't done things that, that really gives your coach confidence and, and makes you want to believe in them. This offense has a lot of work to do before their next football game. Number 30, and the Cavaliers will punt this one away. Sometimes avoiding disaster is the best thing. The punter just gets it out of there. Returns like that are why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. Give to the running back. He breaks a tackle. That run epitomizes a veteran, savvy senior who knows how to find space. When you know you have a team outclassed, the ability to play to that standard and finish with a blowout like this is really impressive. 
and it's almost like playing against yourself, right? You know you're better. You know you're going to win the football game, but how do I continue to still execute? This, this was so easy, great execution, uh, just beat down in every facet. I think as a player, you just love being in such great rhythm, and we saw that right from the get-go in this game. Offense just able to matriculate the ball down the field. Defense was not giving anything up. What a great game plan coming in, and this was just total domination. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.